if he can continue the hot streak. He does have bomb in hand. He has glitched, so he can play around that. They're starting to put pressure in. He gets the call. He's got to go. Are they able to catch any more? He finds one. Saul, one push up in the bar, and I believe that with his teammate to drop, he's going to find two. He's now 7-1 and one on a three streak. The round is done. Optic Gaming dismantled in 20 seconds. He's coming from the back. Where are the kills going to be? He's got one in front. Pushing now into bar. They have a 3v2 advantage. Trying to gun for him on the back. Not able to do so. Will get pressured. Ooh. And I don't know what happened to Crim6, but that's your game. Search and destroy going the way of Panda. Okay, so we waited for the reset, and that reset lasted about 60 seconds. Wow. Nelson was sick. Very good. Scump, obviously 20 and 8. Crazy performance from him. Krim also 15 and 10. Four dunks of the drone. So big plays there for Krim. 10 seconds left. Gonna get gun, but it does not matter. But the man, the hero here for Optic fans in game three, King Scump, 36 and 17. Doing it all. And I, honestly, it's the, the opening rip for him. start for Panda and it's you know too quick at Nelson I feel like in the respawn game modes we say we need to see more from those two players you know they were fantastic in the SND not great in the hard point or the uplink need to be much better here in the CTF they're gonna have a shot but it's gonna be out to keeping up 3-0 going into the second half trying to take this series versus Panda stage two one of the best search teams in North America so to kind of have it you know, awful apart here it's quite odd they kind of kind of go back to what they've been good at and that is it. Optic Gaming able to take the W over Panda.